The geology of Brazil's volcanic Trindade Island has fascinated scientists for years. With these snakes, it will be a particularly painful death. You're going to die screaming. When you think of Brazil, you think of the largest country in South America and also the fifth most populous country in the world. Also, Brazil faces the Atlantic Ocean along 4,600 miles of coastline and shares more than 9,750 miles of inland borders with countless South American countries. It's a place with a wide range of tropical and subtropical landscapes, including wetlands, savannas, plateaus, and low mountains. These are beautiful things about Brazil, but there are even more. Sit back and watch as we explore 20 terrifying, fascinating, and shocking discoveries in Brazil that change everything. Number 20. Snake Island, Brazil Snake Island in Brazil is also known as Ilha da Queimada Grande. This green oasis might seem like a slice of paradise at first glance, but don't be deceived by its picturesque appearance. This island stands as scientists' terrifying new discovery in Brazil that changes everything. Snake Island is situated approximately 90 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo in Brazil. Despite the island's alluring beauty, it hides a dark secret. And that secret is snakes. Lots and lots of them. In fact, these are no ordinary snake haven. It's home to the venomous Golden Lancehead Pit Viper. There are between 2,000 and 4,000 Golden Lancehead Pit Viper found only on Snake Island. But if you ever come in contact with any, these snakes look astoundingly beautiful. This is due to their striking golden yellow coloration on their scales. But beauty aside, you are looking at one of the deadliest snakes in the entire world. These vipers are equipped with one of the most potent venoms on the planet. A single bite from the snake can cause kidney failure, necrosis of muscular tissue, brain hemorrhaging, and intestinal bleeding. This venom can kill humans in just an hour or less. So, how did these evil snakes find themselves in this secluded paradise? Local legends have it that some decades ago, pirates stacked some treasure on this lush island and guarded it with the venomous vipers. And since then, Snake Island has been isolated from the mainland. This isolation allowed Golden Lancehead Pit Viper to evolve and adapt to their unique environment. Also, with no natural predators to disturb the growth of these snakes, they thrived and multiplied, forming a self-contained viper kingdom. Number 19 the Manaconda. The Amazon rainforest is a box of surprises when it comes to reptiles and amphibians. And now, behold the Atretaquana Icelti, an eerie creature that has sent shockwaves through the scientific world. Found in the heart of the Amazon rainforest, scientists stumbled upon this utterly strange species that defies conventional norms. The Atretaquana Icelti, also known as the bizarre worm-like amphibian, at first seems more like a reptile or a snake. But they aren't reptiles and are more closely related to salamanders and frogs. With its smooth and slimy body, the Atratokoana Izelti has no limbs. This gave it a truly astonishing sight. As researchers delved deeper into knowing more about this creature, they uncovered even more surprises. This extraordinary creature breathes solely through its skin, a never-before-seen phenomenon among amphibians. This breakthrough alone challenged long-held beliefs and revolutionized our understanding of amphibian physiology. But the mysteries didn't end there. The Atretokoana Izelti demonstrated an unconventional method of reproduction through autotomy, meaning it can self-amputate its own tail. The reasons behind this behavior continue to puzzle scientists and add to the creature's allure. As much as this finding in the Amazon rainforest seems odd, it's no doubt scientists' terrifying new discovery in Brazil that changes everything. As in, everything from how snakes look to how they breathe. Number 18. Brazilian Wandering Spiders Brazilian wandering spiders, also called armed spiders or banana spiders, belong to the genus Phonutria, which means murderous in Greek. And it's no wonder why. It's one of the most venomous spiders on Earth. These formidable arachnids, known for their impressive size and venomous bite, prefer to roam the forest floor, making their way through the dense foliage in search of prey. But let's not be too hasty in dismissing these creatures as mere frightful terrors of the jungle. 
As fearsome as they may appear, the Brazilian wandering spiders have a unique place in their ecosystem, acting as crucial regulators of insect populations. Their presence is a testament to the perfect balance of nature, where each species plays its part in the grand symphony of life. But here comes the heart-stopping twist. The venom of the Brazilian wandering spider is no joke. It's one of the most potent among all spiders. A single bite from these arachnids can lead to excruciating pain and, in extreme cases, even pose a potential threat to human life. Their neurotoxic bite has earned them a notorious reputation as one of the most venomous spiders in the world. This scientist's terrifying new discovery in Brazil that changes everything is an eye-opener that spiders are a lot more deadly than we've earlier thought. But there is more. Number 17. The Amazonian Giant Centipedes Generally, centipedes don't need much of an explanation, because we see them around quite often. From the simple-looking centipede to the so-called stone centipede, the list of centipedes are just numerous to exhaust. But here we are looking at one of the most infamous among centipedes, the Amazonian giant centipede, also referred to as the Scolopendra gigantea. If that's too difficult for you to pronounce, just stick with the Amazonian giant centipede. This species is native to the Amazon rainforest of Brazil. The Amazonian giant centipede is the largest centipede species in the world, with a length exceeding 30 centimeters, and this centipede has 21 to 23 segments. The Amazonian giant centipede is a carnivore that feeds on any other animal it can overpower and kill. It is capable of overpowering small vertebrates, including small lizards, and frogs as long as 95 millimeters, including snakes up to 25 centimeters. Even sparrow-sized birds, mice, and bats are not safe when the giant centipede is hungry. But it's not only their size that makes them deadly. The centipede is also able to kill prey by immobilizing it with their venom. Their venom gland is housed in a modified leg pair that lies under their head. This neurotoxic venom is injected by the fang of this leg pair, and it can kill any prey in minutes or less. Luckily, there is only one recorded case of its venom killing a human. The only human death attributed to the giant centipede venom was in 2014 when the centipede bit a four-year-old child. Though this case of its venom resulting in death is rare, a bite from the centipede is said to exert excruciating pains, exhaustion, and swellings. Since you've seen this, let's look at another scientist's terrifying new discovery in Brazil that changes everything. Number 16. The 33-Foot Monster whether they make an appearance on the silver screen or on the news, anacondas are famously known to be scary reptiles. They're excessively long, thick snakes with eyes situated on the top of their head to help them scope out prey while remaining underwater. Talking about scientists' terrifying new discovery in Brazil that changes everything, this time scientists found that snakes can be as big as this. The snake was found at a construction site in Brazil. As the image of the anaconda struck the internet, many believed it belonged to the boa family. This family of anaconda are known for their huge length. However, since the snake was found dead, no official measurement was taken to determine its actual size. It was only reported to be about 33 feet long and weighed 880 pounds. Anacondas might not be that scary to you because they don't kill with poison. However, they can give much pain to their prey with their constriction. They are constrictors, and they attack their prey in a very subtle manner. They often wait just below the water with the topmost portion of their heads sticking out. When they see the right type of prey come by, they lunge at them. The snakes use their teeth to hold them and begin the process of wrapping around them. Once they have quelled the prey's attempts at escape, they then constrict tighter and tighter until the animal is dead which means there might still be a larger snake beneath the murky depths of the Amazon River Basin. Seeing this huge 33-foot monster anaconda in Brazil means there might be a larger snake beneath the depths of the Amazon River Basin. Number 15. Terrifying, bone-crushing reptile. With unrelenting scientists, the world has discovered more and more mysterious things that one would never have believed existed. One new discovery that just made waves into the realm of scientists' discovery is an enormous crocodile ancestor species in Brazil. 
This species is said to have lived alongside giant titanosaur dinosaurs about 72 and 66 million years ago. It was found in the Monte Alto region in Sao Paulo in 1987. Unfortunately, most of its bones were missing and researchers were only able to unearth its partially preserved skull roof, including most of the reptile's right side. With this and many other reasons known to scientists, our new guy was named Titanochampsa eorii. Due to its incomplete fossil, it was a bit difficult for scientists to determine its length. However, it is believed to be about 10 to 20 feet long and equipped with strong teeth that can tear through anything. Its bites weren't a surprise, since the large size of Titanochampsa aiori are said to naturally have bone-crushing bites. This is compatible with their amphibian lifestyle. The Titanochampsa aiori can run on all fours and majorly feed on flesh. Yeah, a lot of flesh. They also have this ambushing behavior as seen in most crocodiles nowadays. The reptile made a huge addition to scientists' terrifying new discovery in Brazil that changed everything. According to scientists, the giant creature belongs to a family of reptiles called Neosuchia. The discovery of Titanochampsa eorii contributes to a better understanding of the evolutionary aspects of crocodiles and why Neosuchia was successful. Number 14. Mysterious Two-Headed Bat Bats are impressively diverse in their shapes and colors, and as a result of extensive effort to sample these mammals in several habitats, we have seen many amazing species, including the two-headed bat. This completely unexpected bat form was found under a mango tree in southeastern Brazil in 2001. When this bat was found, it was discovered that its umbilical cord and placenta were still attached, indicating that the twins were newborn. While researchers aren't sure what caused these identical twins to be conjoined, they believed it could have been caused when a fertilized egg splits too late. To better understand what led these weird Siamese bats to become of this nature, a study conducted by a researcher based at the State University of Northern Rio de Janeiro shed more light. The study found that the bat twins were male, large, fruit-eating bats of the genus Artabius, and an X-ray analysis of the bat corpse further revealed two separate vertebral columns that fuse at the lower part of the back, which simply infer that the bat twins' corpse was conjoined at the torso. Talking of scientists' terrifying discovery in Brazil that changes everything, this is one unbelievable discovery. I mean, the twins had separate heads and necks but had a conjoined trunk with an abnormally expanded thorax. With the research ultrasound analysis, it is more revealing that the bat had two similarly sized and separate hearts. The death of the two-headed bat wasn't a surprise since the likelihood of surviving under this situation is rare. But now we know it's actually possible there are conjoined bats on rampage out there. Number 13. Ancient Termite Megapolis Around 200 million termite mounds were found in northeastern Brazil. The cone-shaped mounds are the work of Sintermes dirus, which are among the largest termite species. The mounds, spaced on average about 60 feet apart, are spread across an area and believed to be as large as the size of Great Britain. That size is not even what shocked researchers. The scientists were surprised after receiving the radioactive dating results of the soil sample from 11 mounds. The results showed that the youngest mound was about 690 years old, while the oldest was 3,820 years old. The age of the oldest mounds are believed to be similar to the time when Pharaoh Khufu began the first Giza pyramid project in Egypt. To build these, Evidence from the existing mounds showed that termites excavated almost 2.4 cubic miles of dirt. That volume equals about 4,000 Great Pyramids of Giza. No doubt this is the greatest known example of ecosystem engineering by a single insect species, Sintermes dirus. Not even humans have ever built a city as large as this. But why are we just hearing about these mounds when it's been existing for so long? Well, scientists found that the mounds were hidden all these years due to a semi-arid vegetation known as Caatinga, unique to the northeastern part of Brazil. With drone images, we can see that the mounds covered a great expanse of land. It's incredible that in this century, we still have biological wonders of this sheer size still existing with us. Number 12. The Glass Frog 
With their bright green bodies and bulging, forward-facing eyes, glass frogs bear a striking resemblance to Kermit the Frog. But being a Muppet look-alike isn't the most fascinating thing about their appearance. Some of the glass frogs found in the humid forests of South America have a strange look. Underneath glass frogs, you can see its skeleton, intestines, and beating heart on full display through their semi-transparent belly skin. Although not all glass frogs are transparent, as charming as they seem, these see-through frogs are not so easy to see in the wild. One reason is because they're so tiny. Also, glass frogs are arboreal, meaning they live on trees and spend most of their time near water. They hunt at night and hide motionless during the day, another reason why it's so hard to find them. Because they are semi-transparent, glass frogs are also famously good at camouflage, blending into the undersides of leaves. Most importantly, scientists discovered a unique breeding behavior among these new glass frogs. It was said that after the male's and female's mating season, the female lays eggs, then the male fertilizes and protects them until they hatch. This sounds strange because in the past, the female frog had to stay with the eggs till they hatch. This new behavior is a turning point in the scientific world. Number 11. Ancient Giant Tunnels Deep inside Brazil, there are tunnels large enough for a person to walk through. The tunnels are neatly symmetrical, too neat to have been caused by any known geologic process. The cave was found in the northern region of Brazil known as Rondonia. This place is known for its vast rainforest, making it one of the densest areas in South America. The gigantic caverns found here stretch 2,000 feet into the ground and have some salient characteristics. Its floors were smooth and flat while the walls were curved. And one eerie thing about the tunnels is that they are lined with claw marks, which means whatever might have dug them in the first place must be very gigantic. Since the claw marks were the only thing left in the tunnel to trace whatever had done this beautiful hold construction, tests were carried out by researchers. After a thorough check on the claws, paleontologists believed these megatunnels were probably the handiwork of giant ground sloths or paleoburrows that had existed on Earth's surface some 10,000 years ago. Shockingly, that was not all that scientists found. Scientists measured the tunnel to be about 2,000 feet long, which definitely means that this ancient cave was dug by more than one ground sloth. The question is, why was this even constructed? Were the tunnels built for these animals to hide from much larger and hungry predators? Was it to escape the harsh climate prevalent at that time? To this day, scientists are yet to determine the exact reason why the tunnels were built. Number 10. Horrific Death Rituals of Ancient Brazil Lapa dos Santos is located within the Lagoa Santa region, and it's often described as the cradle of Brazilian paleontology. Researchers began an excavation at Lapa do Santo in 2001, and they've so far uncovered 40 human burials. The site had remains from dozens of burial pits, and many of the graves showed extensive signs of modification after death. A burial was found where human bones were cut up and stuffed into a skull. Another grave showed that teeth were deliberately removed from a skull. Also, bodies were burnt and defleshed, which all pointed out that ancient Brazilians were cannibals. The researchers grouped the disarticulated remains together. The burial number 26 is said to be the oldest known case of decapitation in the region. It includes the head and cervical vertebrae of people cut with stone flakes. Two amputated hands were spread, one on each side of the face, arranged opposite to each other. The isotopic signature of the skull suggested that some of the remains found in Lapa dos Santos belonged to a local member of the group. Other graves included skeletal remains decorated with red pigment and arranged in several combinations, such as an infant skull paired with postcranial bones from numerous adults or an adult skull with postcranial bones from several infants. Number 9. The Horned Beast of Bahia, Brazil Now is the time to talk about something different from scary animals and fossilized skulls. A photograph was taken as way back as 2007 by an American girl. She was only 15 when she visited Bahia, the eastern part of Brazil. The photograph taken showed a horned man, just as so many others would have reacted. The girl was so surprised, she couldn't understand at first what this thing was. This humanoid-type figure looks to have an exposed skull-like face with deviled-type horns protruding from on top of its head. 
Often, devils are portrayed as having horns on their head, and this image may just be a sign of devil visiting Earth. While this thing may well be a demon of some sort, it could be something else. While trying to understand what this image was, many people believed it was an offshoot of the Greek mythology satyrs. Satyrs are goat-like men having long ears, tails, legs, and horns comparable to a goat animal. The Bahia horned man was by no means similar to the Greek satyr. Another speculation is that maybe this creature was perhaps a sort of weapon. Some even believed it was someone covered in mud. If it was someone covered in mud, how do we explain the horn? To date, it is still unclear what this image represents. Number 8. Poison Dart Frogs Deep in the tropical forest of Brazil, there are beautiful, small, but deadly frogs. These are the poison dart frogs. These species are members of the family Dendrobatidae, and there are more than 175 known species. The poison dart frogs vary in size, but generally, they can be between 20 to 40 millimeters in length. Aside from the fact that these frogs are tiny, unlike many other amphibians, they are diurnal, which means they are more active in the daytime. And there is even more to these frogs than their diurnal abilities. The frogs appear in different colors, including bright yellow, black, gold, and likewise blue. And these different colors are not for show-offs. It stands as a warning for predators to stay off, because inside those colors lies lethal toxins called batrachotoxins, these toxins are potent enough to do damage to any predator and humans. Well, it's believed that a single poison dart frog toxin can kill several humans. The poison spreads into the human body system, resulting in debilitating and potentially fatal conditions, such as paralysis, extreme pain, and even cardiac failure. In the past, researchers believed that these frog toxins could kill any predator. However, scientists' discovery changed everything we know about this species. They, in fact, have a predator. Findings reveal that the fire-bellied snake, scientifically known as Lyophis epinephalus, are the only natural predators of dart frogs. And this means they are immune to the frog's toxins. Number 7. A Mapinguari Mapinguari, also known as the giant sloth or the Amazonian Bigfoot, is a fearsome and elusive beast that has captured the imaginations of indigenous tribes and locals for generations. Descriptions of this mythical creature vary, but common threads paint a picture of a massive, lumbering creature with shaggy fur, powerful limbs, and imposing claws. Legend has it that Mapinguari is a guardian of the Amazon rainforest in Brazil, a fearsome protector of the lush wilderness. Some tales portray it as a ferocious beast with an insatiable appetite for human flesh, while others speak of a gentle giant, an ancient spirit embodying the essence of the Amazon. In addition to its physical prowess, Mapinguari is said to possess a peculiar defense mechanism, a gaping, cavernous mouth on its belly. This bizarre feature is believed to be capable of swallowing a person whole, adding to the creature's aura of terror and wonder. But is Mapinguari merely a figment of folklore, a mythical creature conjured by the depths of human imagination? Some researchers believe that the legend of Mapinguari might have its roots in real-life animals that once roamed the Amazon, such as ancient giant ground sloths. Others argue that it could be an amalgamation of encounters with various large creatures, or even a reflection of cultural beliefs and traditions. Regardless of its origin, the legend of Mapinguari continues to enthrall and captivate those who dare to venture into the uncharted territories of the Amazon. In the heart of the rainforest, where dense foliage conceals secrets and mysteries, the tale of Mapinguari serves as a reminder of the deep connection between human culture and the natural world. Number 6. Plastic Rocks Researchers in Trindade Island, a remote volcanic Brazilian island known as a refuge for green turtles, were startled after discovering rocks made from plastic debris strewn about the landmass. Nothing of this nature has ever been found in any part of the world, which makes it sparked a lot of interests and curiosities among researchers and archaeologists. When the plastic rock was found, a series of tests were run. This analysis found that the rock contained a mixture of sedimentary granules and other debris held together by plastic. The researchers then gave the rock a befitting name called plastiglomerates. This is because it contains plastic derived from what was agreed on to be fishing nets. 
These fishing nets were said to have melted due to the harsh climate of Trinidad Island. The melted plastic then embedded itself within the island's natural geology, which led to the plastic rock that we have now. One of the researchers, Fernanda Avalar Santos, a geologist from the Federal University of Parana, Brazil, said the rock was a new and terrifying discovery caused by pollution. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The rainforest in Brazil is a place where every breath carries the sweet perfume of wildflowers and the earthy scent of ancient trees. Here, the air is alive with the melodious chatter of tropical birds, a vibrant chorus that complements the green expanse. But as we have mentioned, you should probably know by now that there are more fascinating and shocking discoveries in Brazil, and we are not even done yet. Stick around because you are about to see something more shocking. Number 5. The Chocolate Frog A frog just like the chocolate frog in Harry Potter has been found in the Amazon rainforest. This frog is so adorable you could just eat him up. The scientists who discovered it were apparently thinking of eating it. That's probably why they've named it the chocolate frog. It's a bizarre new species of frog with a taper-like nose for burrowing underground. Researchers stumbled on the species accidentally through its beeping calls. To catch it, researchers had to follow its sounds. So researchers had to dig with their hands until they got the frog out from the soil. For decades, the frog has been living and growing in the Amazon rainforest undisturbed. This is due to their small size and their pigmentations. With their unique colors, these frogs can easily blend into their habitat. The frog has a dark brownish-red skin and measures just 1.79 centimeters. Some other varieties of the frog have a chest and belly that's creamy yellow with brown speckles toward the flanks in. The frog's general appearance shows it has adapted to the soft soil of the Amazonian peatlands. Number 4. The Discovery of a Small-Sized Titanosaurian In the ancient landscape of Brazil's Sao Paulo state, a thrilling discovery has been unveiled by paleontologists. The incredible Iberania parva, a small-sized titanosaurian dinosaur that once roamed our planet around 83 million years ago during the late Santonian to the early Campanian age of the Upper Cretaceous Epoch. Picture this remarkable creature, measuring approximately 18.7 feet in length, which might not sound massive compared to other dinosaurs, but it certainly leaves a colossal impression on the world of paleontology. Iberania parva belongs to a special group known as Neosauropods, which boasts an astonishing diversity and had a worldwide distribution during its heyday. The excitement doesn't end there. The Iberania parva represents the first ever saltasaurine titanosaurian to be found in Brazil. This fascinating discovery sheds new light on the ancient biodiversity of South America and adds a critical piece to the puzzle of dinosaur evolution in this region. To put it simply, imagine Iberania parva as a pint-sized titan, a tiny titanosaur that challenges the idea that all sauropods were gigantic giants. It's like finding a precious gem hidden in the vast wilderness of prehistoric history. The significance of this find cannot be overstated, as it allows us to paint a clearer picture of how dinosaurs adapted and diversified throughout their ancient world. Number 3. The Phoenix Plant the phoenix plant found in the tropical savanna of eastern Brazil is a truly remarkable and fascinating species. This plant, also known by its scientific name Anemopegma arvensi, possesses unique adaptations that enable it to cope with wildfires in its natural habitat. One of its most remarkable features is its underground root system, which plays a crucial role in its survival strategy. When a fire sweeps through the savannas, the above-ground parts of the plant may be destroyed, but the underground roots remain protected. These roots store valuable nutrients and energy reserves, allowing the plant to quickly regenerate and re-sprout after the fire has passed. The after-fire instant flowering of the phoenix plant is a spectacular display of its resilience and survival mechanism. By rapidly sending up new shoots and producing vibrant flowers, the plant takes advantage of the post-fire conditions, including increased sunlight and nutrient availability. This flowering not only helps the phoenix plant to complete its life cycle and produce seeds for future generations, but also provides essential pollen for various pollinators in the tropical savanna ecosystem. Number 2. The Fire-Tailed Titi Monkey The Fire-Tailed Titi Monkey is a small primate native to the tropical rainforests of South America. 
This monkey is renowned for its striking and vibrant appearance, particularly its fiery colored tail, which sets it apart from other primates in the region. One of the most eye-catching features of the monkey is its unique tail. The tail is adorned with a bright, fiery, reddish-orange color resembling the flickering flames of a fire, hence its name. This distinguishing characteristic makes it easy to identify and adds to its charm as it moves gracefully through the forest trees. The monkey is believed to be a social and family-oriented species. They live in small groups that usually consist of a monogamous pair and their offspring. This tight-knit family structure strengthens their bonds and promotes cooperation among group members. They spend much of their time grooming, playing, and communicating with one another, fostering a strong sense of community within the group. These monkeys are well adapted to life in the treetops, where they spend most of their time. Their strong grip enables them to find food and maintain balance as they leap and swing from tree to tree. Number 1. The Electrophorus Voltai Meet the Electrophorus Voltai, a newly unearthed species of electric eel that holds the crown as the most potent bioelectricity generator on our planet. Unlike other electric eels you must have seen or heard of, the Electrophorus Voltai specialized organs produce an astounding 860 volts of electricity, far surpassing any other known species of its kind. The sheer force behind these electric pulses enables the eel to navigate and dominate its environment in an electrifying display of nature's prowess. The electrifying guts of the Electrophorus Voltai also serves multiple purposes in its aquatic world. As a skilled hunter, it unleashes its electric currents to detect and immobilize its prey. Employing this electrifying strategy, the eel can effortlessly locate and temporarily paralyze small fish and other aquatic creatures, securing a successful hunt with shocking precision. Beyond its role as a skilled hunter, the Electrophorus Voltai employs its supercharged electric shocks as a formidable defense mechanism. When confronted by predators or perceived threats, this captivating eel retaliates with a series of potent electric pulses, dissuading any adversaries. Do you need an explanation of what a 860 volts of electricity shocks will do to your body? Outro. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.